Now to a lawsuit just filed by 35 victims, families, and survivors of the Pulse nightclub mass shooting. The federal civil rights lawsuit is against the city of Orlando, the police department, and the officer working security the night of June 12, 2016. The lawsuit alleges the defendants violated the constitutional rights of the people injured and the 49 people killed in the shooting. News 6's Lewis Bolton has been following this story for us. And Lewis, a lot of this focuses on Orlando police officer Adam Gruller. Well, Julie, he is the only officer named specifically. He was working off-duty security at the club's entrance, which is on this side of the building. The lawsuit alleges he and other officers were more concerned about their own safety than the people inside. What if Paul's security guard stopped the shooter from ever coming inside of Paul's? Will my brother still be alive? Berto Capo is one of nearly three dozen plaintiffs now suing the city of Orlando for officers' response to the Pulse nightclub shootings. The lawsuit claims officers took too long to kill the shooter and, quote, chose to disregard the safety of the patrons while instead ensuring only that they themselves were safe. Capo, who lost his brother, believes more lives could have been saved had officers acted sooner. What if the Orlando police officers who responded to the shooting were aggressive with their plan to rescue victims and hostages and kill the shooter? Will my brother still be alive? The lawsuit goes on to say that officers responding that night were improperly trained. We know that police officers go through training, but what about those people who say no amount of training will prepare you for something like Pulse? Every pr protocol that I've seen in place from law enforcement says you immediately engage the shooter. The only officer named specifically in the lawsuit is Adam Gruler, who was working security. Attorney Solomon Radmer says Gruler left his post that night, allowing the shooter to enter the building, case the place, and return with a weapon. But also, instead of immediately going in and neutralizing the shooter, he appeared to be primarily concerned about his own safety. Coming up at 5 o'clock, a former police officer who was one of the first responder, responders to the Pulse shootings. He is also a part of this lawsuit, and we're going to have his interview coming up at 5.